It's your boy Chris Dooms in the building, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a little bit of bench press. All right, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris Dooms in the building. Make sure you subscribe to the page. Uh, today we're going to talk about a little bit about uh, how to bench. I uh, got 225 on here right now, so it's a good uh, weight to show y'all. It's pretty heavy, so uh, I'll be able to feel a lot better. But uh, well, what you should know about bench press is the main key points of a strong bench press is your shoulders, your lats, your tries, uh, your chest too, but we go in detail on that. But it's mainly those because Usually people, when they bench press from high school or college, or depending of, of, of uh, experiences they had in bench press, they usually be out here doing the bench press. I'm gonna show y'all. Usually they are out like right here. That is a no-go because of that. If you do it from here, it's all shoulders, and you can get real bad injuries by doing that. Everybody that does football benches gets bad shoulder injuries from doing that. What you want to do to activate all the key, point, key points uh, to grow a strong bench and be strong at it is basically flare your elbows in. You want to push your elbows just how you do push-ups. When you do push-ups, that's how you want your elbows close, close to your lats. You want to be able to activate, because you can feel it right now. If you turn, turn your wrist just a little bit, try to keep them straight, and turn them a little bit, and pull them in, you already feel a little bit of your, your lats working. That helps you to be able to bench press a lot heavier and activate a lot of more muscle for the push. So, usually powerlifters, they like to have like a little arch. Only reason you see a lot of bench pressers do a little bit of arch is to eliminate some of the distance to, to lock it out from the barbell to your chest. So that way, when they get to heavier weight, because they also work on speed work, they work on heavy lifts to get their bodies and they mentally uh, prepared for heavy lifts. Uh, what they do is arch their back for a shorter distance in competition so it's easier for them to max out that rep so it's a little bit of cheating but I don't want to call it cheating it's a lot of different variations in the pilot thing but that's the reason why they arch their back because it also develops a st stability for your back your upper back to be on the bench a lot better than a flat back and then on top of that like you said it's a shorter distance to get the weight and you activate a lot more muscles by doing that. So I'm gonna show you a powerlifting bench compared to a flat bench. All right, so what I like to do is, everybody has, uh, has to be consistent at what they do. Uh, everybody has a different tradition, how they do, do their bench presses or how to get ready. I like to be consistent every time. So I uh, wanna make sure I'm ready. I put my hands. I do the thumbs first. The thumbs will tell you exactly where to, to mark yourself. So I put my thumbs in the middle of the, the area where the lines are, and then that's where I'm at. Now lock them fully. Make sure, do not do suicide grips. There's no reason to have this thumb off. You wanna lock this thumb around the bar. That's a lot more efficient with your thumb locked around the bar. You don't wanna be like those people that freaking bench press, and the bar slips off their body. You don't want to be those people. All right, so mark myself. I'm flat right now. What I'm gonna do is slowly pull myself back, arch it, arch it, where my, where my lats and my shoulder is, and then I'm gonna plop down just a little bit, right there. And then I'm just gonna pick up the weight, bam. Make sure your elbows are in, and you come down. In, 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 press. In, 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 
press. In, 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 in. Press. All right. So that is a powerlifted bench. Powerlifting is all about pause. You don't want to do high volume. Usually, I do high volume to uh, uh, focus on bodybuilding. That way, I could get, I could develop a, a better chest, a better arms, just to be stronger at it. So it's good to do volume, but you want to work on pause reps if you're powerlifting. Pause reps is the main key to powerlifting because when you get into competition, there's gonna be heavy, like heavy lifts when you're trying to get PRs, and you need to focus on pause. If you don't, if you don't adapt to that kind of concept of pause reps, then your lifts will never be perfect. So. It's all about being perfect. Uh, the judge, you gotta listen to the judge. The judge will say, start, you pick it up, he said, and he'll say lift, or he'll say, uh, or he'll say start, wait. You take it off the rack, he'll say start, you bring it down to your chest, and he'll say lift, and then you lift it up, and he'll say rack, and you rack it. They're just different, uh, different variations of how they talk, but, uh, Yes, that's about it. Uh, the flat bench, let me show you the flat bench real quick. You can tell the difference. Is the flat bench. There's really no power in flat benching. So it's kind of hard to activate. It's really hard to activate the muscles in your back, in your shoulders, in your tries. When you arch, it helps you activate all those muscle groups to push faster on the heavy lift. Uh, I hope you like what I'm trying to show y'all because I want y'all to be badass at bench pressing and destroy powerlifting competitions. Uh, this here is a good way to help you develop a strong bench and avoid injuries to your shoulder. So make sure you pay attention about the elbows being in when you're benching. I will start off light so your body can get used to it and you'll be able to adapt to a new movement. So just don't go real heavy and trying this. You wanna develop it. Develop it first, and then you'll be a lot stronger down the way. It is your boy Chris Dooms in the building. I hope you subscribe to that page, hit the like button. Comment down below if you wanna me to uh, do a tutorial about something else. Until then, this is how you bench. I will go in detail about increasing strength and uh, resistant training. I'll show you later on in the videos. But until then, the boy signing out. I'll holler at you guys later.